What's going on, everybody? I hope that these tips on increasing financial peace in your marriage have been a blessing to you because Rhonda and I want you as a couple to have some financial peace. And listen, one of the things that we talked about, babe, is not only do you save, you know, got to save your emergency fund, but you also got to come up with a budget. Mm -hmm. We want to get out of debt. And most importantly, we want to invest. So after you wipe out your debt, you got your savings account, it's time to invest. And so you can invest in things like mutual funds, you can invest in real estate, but here's something that you need to think about that you need to do now. That's invest in your marriage. Tell them about it. Absolutely. You want to invest in your marriage, not just financially, but physically, emotionally. So all of these things that will help increase your stamina in your marriage, meaning the longevity, and the financial piece is just a small part of it. Yeah, so when we talk about investing, like we have Eden Circle. Mm -hmm. Eden Circle is an investment whereby you get personal help and coaching from Rhonda and I on a monthly basis where we meet with you. And then also next year when we go on our international marriage retreat, it's not just about getting away, it's about getting tools to help you survive the long run. We want you to have peace over your whole life. And that requires an investment in yourself. It's a foolish man and a foolish woman who does not invest in themselves. So invest in your marriage, it's worth it.